Thank you, viewers. My name is Eli Hamonyo Pio. Welcome to this kind of uh, one of the important uh, uh, special TV top notch, the ocean of uh, knowledge. And today we want to dive uh, deep the ocean of biology, whereby today we shall look at a very important topic known as genetics. This topic is never misses in uh, our neck exams. Always we must have this kind of exams uh, with this kind of uh, uh, great uh, uh, topic. And therefore, it's very important to uh, dive deep. And um, before maybe I go, well, you might have uh, learned this one. We, in Form 1, we learned about the branches of uh, biology, uh, whereby we learned about that genetics is the, the study of uh, variation and inheritance. But now in Form 4, now we need to dive deep uh, into this ocean of uh, biology. Uh, whereby we shall be able to look at, uh, this time around, we shall look at the structure of the DNA. Uh, many times this is, looks abstract, but we want to look at how, what is this DNA? How, what some of the structures? And by the end of the least lesson, we shall be able to look at the structure of the DNA. And uh, what is the rationale behind this kind of uh, our lesson? The rationale behind the lesson, we, we know that the DNA structure carries the genetic materials that determine the characteristics of uh, organism. Uh, these genetic ma materials are located on the deoxyribonucleic acid, that's the DNA, which is found in, which is found in a, a chromosome. Maybe this is a, we shall look at the chromosome before we, maybe we look at the DNA. And it's uh, therefore important for learners to understand the structure of the DNA and how it helps in the formation of organisms' characteristics is very important. Then. Uh, as, as we had said earlier that we need to, the, some of the objectives of the learning outcomes by the end of this lesson, you as the learner, you need to understand the structure, uh, describe the DNA strand, and number two, if we, maybe time will, they, we will allow us, we shall look at uh, how we can be able to model the structure of the DNA. Uh, now, before we continue with this kind of the structure of DNA, some of the precise knowledge that we, you need to understand uh, is uh, the structure of the chromosome, because this is where we shall find the DNA and the genes which carry uh, inheritable traits. Then we, we need to look at another uh, part uh, that uh, of knowledge we need to know in Form 3, we learned about cell division that's uh, in reproduction. Then uh, some of the areas maybe when you, when you want to model, because one of the our main uh, outcome was now to, by the end of this lesson, at least we should be able to, to model DNA. Uh, we might not be able to model it now, but uh, we, we want to we, some of the materials that we can be able to use to come up with a, um, a model. You can maybe use the, the, the thread, manila paper, a pair of scissors, or any means of cutting like scalpel. Uh, bubble gums, you can eat them. If you, if you don't have money to buy the plasticine, you can eat the bubble gums and come up with uh, certain balls that you can represent the, those kind of the structure, of, uh, part of the structure. Or can you be able to dissolve uh, polystyrene uh, in, in ethanol? Will be somehow malleable, and then you'll be able to use it uh, to model uh, a DNA strand. Then uh, maybe you need to maybe to use the photographs that uh, will be provide that will might be be provided to create one. Um, uh, maybe our inquiry question, maybe by the end of this, what is the composition of the DNA? That's why we want to dive deep and find out. What is this, this the uh, the structure? How does it look like? What are some of the components of this DNA? Um, then, before we continue, because I said that earlier, that before we look at DNA and where is DNA found, and therefore we need to engage ourselves and ask ourselves, uh, look at the structure of uh, the chromosome. As you can see, that we have some parts of the chromosome. There's a pair of chromosome where uh, it carries. Uh, it has the DNA. This is where you, uh, it's where inheritance and variation takes place in our bodies. We might not be able to see them using our bodies, but you need maybe a very sophisticated electron microscope so you can be able to see them very well. We have some of the parts. We have part A, uh, part B, as you can see, and part C. We have part A, it is the, the chromatid. Then part B is the de uh, deoxyribonucleic acid, that's now the DNA. Then part C, we have the centromere. And then um, uh, maybe the function of this part uh, B 
it is a, it carries the genetic material then maybe we want to explore ourselves more about and be able to identify the parts labeled r s v and uh, w uh, we shall also give examples of part v then uh, we shall be able to look at uh, how do they pair uh, as we continue as uh, trying to explore this deep when we explore more uh, part r is um is what to call the nucleotide part r is the nucleotide and uh, part v is what to call the nitrogenous base is a natural base and uh, uh, part s is a phosphate and then part w is what we call a uh, pendose sugar it's what we call a pendose sugar maybe we have just explored and that means i've already said about some of the material that can be used to come up with a model which i might not be able to look at because of time we can now in the next lesson maybe we shall be able to look at how we can be able to model now we also try to uh, look at now to evaluate ourselves uh, maybe we can can we be able to draw a, a complementary strand of dna uh, uh strand of, of that that we have a we have a, we have gt we shall look at those the meaning of that kind of letters later but look at now before we go uh all that we need to look at gtg uh, we have those kind of nini we have sugar phosphate and then uh, maybe let's just look, uh, look at the answer maybe as a student can you be able to look at that come up with a complete strand of the dna as shown below Yes, maybe this is the answer. You can now try. That is now a uh, complete strand of the DNA uh, shown, uh, shown maybe in the above uh, question. Uh, we have the sugar phosphate and this is how they pair. Uh, we have CG, AT, CG, GC, like uh, that's how they, that's what's called the, the, the sequencing, the base sequencing. Uh, we shall look at uh, what they mean later in a, as we continue uh, diving uh, with this uh, topic. That's a short video uh, showing uh, the double helix of the DNA. Uh, that's how we, you look. Uh, maybe we might not be able to. Uh, uh, this is some abstract, but this is just in your, in your body, and that's how what normal happens. Maybe if we continue, uh, maybe trying to explain further, maybe to narrow down, we we have we can say that DNA is a long uh, is a long nucleus that carries genetic materials in a chromosome. It is a blueprint of life. Without DNA, there's no life. And therefore, uh, genes are structures found in the DNA which carry in inheritable traits. Uh, that's great. Then DNA is also a complex molecule composed of nucleotides. And these nucleotides have, uh, have three main components. And whereby we have a five carbon sugar, we have a phosphate, uh, we have a nitrogen base. I had already I given you a question if you can be able to attempt before we look at the real meaning of uh, or in full uh, we have the complete strand of dna below we had looked at that then therefore let us try to go back down here and then be able to look at we have the i had said that uh, we have the nucleotides have three main components um that is a five uh, carbon sugar we have a phosphate we have a nitrogen base and uh, this one, in uh, nitrogen bases, we have uh, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. And um, thymine pairs with adenine. That is, we can use, so you say at. Eh? For you not to forget, you can say at. When maybe uh, at, you can at. And then, you can, and then we have guanine pairs with the cytosine. You can use G, 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 C, G, C. Uh, thymine pairs with the uh, cytosine is GC. Then several nucleotides join through the phosphate, gives a sugar backbone. Then uh, we have that the two parallel strands of the DNA are joined through the basis of uh, uh, by the hydrogen bonds. And then the two parallel twists on one another, they form what we call a double helix. They form what we call a double helix. Maybe in a, in, in, in another shell, we have looked at uh, the structure of the DNA and what the DNA has, we have looked at uh, the DNA is a, a double helix structure. We have a, a structure that is the, the DNA has a, a motherboard known as a nucle uh, nucleotide. And the nucleotide has uh, some components. And these components, uh, we have uh, I've already said we have uh, adenine, uh, we have a thymine, we have a cytosine, and guanine. And they, have, they have a way they pair. 
uh, in a specific manner. And then I've said that uh, add nine pairs with thermine. I mean, uh, add nine pairs with thermine, yes. Then cytosine uh, pairs with what? Guanine. Then I've given you a uh, way you can be able to not forget them. You can, you can use at GC, at GC, whereby at uh, that is uh, add nine, thermine, and, and uh, CG, that is uh, uh, guanine cytosine. That is the composition of uh, the DNA. And uh, maybe in the next lesson, we shall continue with this topic known as uh, uh, genetics and dive more uh, uh, on that. Uh, viewers, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Topology TV, the channel that has uh, uh, knowledge, uh, the sea. We, we dive together so they can learn more. Thank you.